Hello, this is Brooks Whittington with HalfWheel.com. Today we're taking a look at a very unique product, uh, a cigar punch slash uh, uh, spike, I guess you would call it. Uh, it's called Select Draw. Um, now, um, I've used this uh, product for about two months on uh, just about every cigar I smoked. Um, and uh, I had some pretty significant problems with it with that I'll get into in a minute. But first, a little bit about the actual product itself. Uh, Select Draw, as I said, it comes in two different finishes. Uh, the first one is called the Original, which is this one here, a silver um, color. Um, both of them are made with aluminum and steel. Um, and uh, the Original comes uh, at, a, in at a, a retail price of $39.99. Um, there's also one that's called the obsidian which is a black matte color and it comes in at uh, 39.97 for some reason uh, two cents cheaper um, both of them are the exact same uh, design a kind of a, a chess piece or something else that i won't mention um, that looks like um, and uh, both of them come with the um, the velvet bag which i carried around forever and uh, got something on apparently so um, it's uh, about three ounces, um, weighs, uh, it's pretty substantial in your hand, very well balanced actually, uh, very well made obviously of, of metal and it's obvious that it's not, uh, it was, you know, some thought went into it. Now, in order to get to the actual product itself, you have to unscrew this piece here, um, which is a uh, tight, it's not going to come undone uh, by any means, um, it's solid. Um, and then you are left with the actual, um, uh, uh, spikes themselves, which, as you can see, are um, substantial and um, they're very, very sharp. They're not, uh, they're not uh, something you want to carry around without this base here uh, at all. Um, you're, you're going to want to, um, you're going to want to carry that around with those. Uh, so they're on there, they're, they're on there really well. They're not going anywhere. Uh, it's well made for sure. Um, so uh, it's a, it's a well made piece. There's no doubt about that. But. Uh, in terms of the actual use of the uh, of the product, it's it's got some pretty significant issues. And the first one that you that you look at uh, when you're cutting a cigar, or, so cutting or spiking or whatever however you want to call it, uh, when you're using this product, uh, the idea is that you're going to punch a holes into the cap of the cigar, and so you use it to actually just very very gently. Um, you don't want to go too hard or too fast because it, it'll damage it even more the cap even more than you could if you don't. Um, but you very very gently move that in about halfway give or take and then pull it back out this is more difficult with smaller ring gauges obviously um, and uh, if you don't get a, a decent draw uh, from the beginning um, you want to put more holes into it and that, I found that I really had to use quite a few um, different um, holes uh, in most of my cigars I had to do more than I expected I guess I thought you'd need three maybe five and it ended up I needed you know eight or seven or something of that nature in order to get the the kind of draw that I uh, that I really really wanted and so um, you would turn it you know this way and then push it in a little bit more and you can see that um, if you wanted to actually you know it, it, there are certainly places to put the holes but every time you put a hole into the cap of a cigar you're going to risk damaging it and uh, as you can see here the damage uh, is already, I only put in four and the damage is already there. Um, it, it's just a matter of, you know, you having to push down on these, on these, on these spikes into the cap, which is not a very, you know, it's pretty fragile anyway. And so you're really trying to, uh, to not damage it as you're trying to actually open it up, which is a, a combination that is, uh, is difficult at best. Um, the company does say that you can push into the sides and they recommend doing it four times, which would be four. Uh, 12 different holes you don't go you don't want to go very far at all uh, just very very gently you want to put those in just like that uh, not very far um, this does alleviate some of the the problems with the tight draw but it also you've got problems because you're actually punching into the actual um, wrapper itself not just the uh, the cap and there was a one time at least that um, the the wrapper came undone based on this um, you're damaging that wrapper, and uh, anytime you damage the wrapper, it's going to be a problem. Um, so, Olivia, uh, other than the actual cutting, uh, the spiking of the actual cap, um, and the damage therein, um, I had problems with uh, tar as well, tar buildup, which I, I don't run into a lot with uh, cutters and, and regular cuts and V cuts and things of that nature, um, not even um, punch cuts, honestly. Um, and so I had some problems, about 25% of the cigars, give or take, 
um, had some issues and um, not a very nice uh, thing to have and not uh, not a great uh, not a great thing to uh, to run across uh, and it was it wasn't once or twice it was it was more you know significant in terms of numbers than that um, but the bigger problem is the fact that even on larger ring gauges, which is what you're going to, you know, these, this works well on larger ring gauges for sure, but you have to be very, very careful when you're using it. And if the wrapper is fragile at all, it's going to have problems. Um, you push it in, you push it just a little bit gently, just like that. And you can hear, even though I did very, very gently, um, and you can move it around. Three is not enough typically for me. So you have to move it around and you push it in a little more like this halfway or so um, you can see that the wrapper is already busted on this now this is a fragile wrapper on this specific cigar um, but even so it's just I mean it's a Connecticut so um, you know it's, it's, it's not something that um, that is you can't you really have to be very careful and it's not something that you can do and just forget about it it's, it's a process every single time that you do it and that leads to my basically my main complaint um, other than damaged wrappers um, is the fact that it just takes too long. You have a process that takes so long to do. You're going to push in, you know, different ways in order to get around the fact that you're trying to da you're, that you may damage this cigar, and uh, it just takes way, way too long and too much effort. You know, I, w w I don't understand uh, the idea behind having a product that takes so long and so much effort when you can just punch cut it, or you can V cut it, or you can, you know, straight cut it, uh, and get a much better uh, end result. Um, about half the time and um, even at its best this the the draw on these is is problematic and that's assuming that you don't uh, that you don't damage the uh, the cap as I did like I said about half the time so uh, can I recommend it no uh, I can't um, it's it's not quite a gimmick necessarily but uh, it does work um, it, about half the time um, but it's it's just not worth the effort or the time um, to in order to um, to actually use it the way that it's supposed to be used uh, in order to get, uh, you know, a decent draw half the time.